Where are you from? And what's your origin? I'm from France. Um, my parents are born um, in the Central African Republic and I've been born and raised in France. Uh, right now I'm living in Belgium and because I've been traveling a lot. What took you so long to open a YouTube channel? Mm, yeah, because I get into YouTube um, when um, around 2008, like you know, I was a lot on YouTube. Like I was uh, mostly checking recipes and um, how to do your nails, how to do your makeup, or stuff like that. I, I saw a lot of channel and I was always wondering, oh, that would be nice to subscribe and everything. But then I was like, yeah, but why would I now? Like I, 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 I didn't get many interested at first. But then seeing some channels, sometimes I couldn't, I said them were my favorite, but it's not the same, like always looking for names. So like, yeah, I should open one, but I wanted to open one when I really feel the need to have one. So I feel really the need to have one. Um, this year because I signed up, signed up like yeah in July or something like that like end of June or something so then I'm like okay now I can do it like I have the equipment for I'm not too busy and I don't know let's try and I guess I can subscribe to all my favorite channel <laughs> well my channel it's it's as well because a lot of uh, natural girls online they're always saying like their hair are different than um, are, there are different hair types and different texture some people have voluminous hair some people don't have so um, a lot of some girls say like hey if you are there you have different hair or whatever just show them because each person is different, some goals are faster, some goals are less, some, some hair change, they, they, it's like a mutation of hair, so you have to know like um, how to do and everything, so I'm like, mm, I should, I should, so at first I was like, I was taking pictures of me and say, I keep a track, and then after I decided, okay, I can make videos now, but sometimes like, you know, between your schedule and everything, you don't have to make them, but anyway, this channel is for people, for everyone. <laughs> So if you want to watch that channel um, for laughing, for sharing tips, just for being positive really and, and just have a good YouTube experience, not spamming. How did you become natural? I became natural, it was a long process, I mean I didn't know like I was becoming natural, I, was, I didn't know I was transitioning like my last relaxer, November. Um, 2008 and I remember that day like my my scalp was just so dry and I'm like okay no more relaxer in November 2008 then I was kind of transitioning without knowing so I was not wearing uh, no more relaxer um, but I still wearing kind of a straightening shampoo but anyway I was uh, wearing like you know like uh, weaves with clippings like you know that's how, that's how I get my hair here to, sh to <laughs> they're gone <laughs> almost. Lost a bit of hair here. Um, yeah, a lot of full wigs and half wigs, and then I was trying. But then, in one year later, in when I became really natural in August 2009, I was in Spain and it was so hot, and I was like annoyed with those hair. I just removed it. But before, I got like okay, but now what am I going to do? Like, and that's how really I got into YouTube. I was like, well. I was looking how to do my nails, now I can do how to do my hair. So I checked online, I found a lot of girls like Pretty Bambles, uh, uh, Tube. I mean there are like thousands of women out there and they explain everything so like I became like an addict, so I was like what, looking, looking and then after like I remember my first afro, not good, um, my hands were not nice and everything but I'm like okay, I try and then I really become natural wearing my own hair August 2009 in one week nappy bursary Will you do the big chop? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Big chop? No, I can't um, Because it took me so long to get I mean, I know relaxer and everything was not good, but 
my hair is my hair. I want I want length, a bit of growth, so it doesn't make sense for me to cut them, and I don't have the heart to cut them. So I won't even like even even like I mean today I just like the bending method again, but sometimes I have like two piggy tails, and and sometimes I like that side is shorter than that side. So I'm like, mm, but actually they're not really shorter, it's just like that side is kinkier and that side is a bit loose. That's what if I want to really, that's what I want to do. It's grow my hair, so why would I cut them? Why? And after like the thing is like, okay, you can say trim, but I don't trim either. I'm not in a trimming mode yet. I will wait maybe if I pass through the lens, then maybe if I want to recolor it, but still it's not in my mind. I just, I don't have the heart to cut my hair. I can't. What's your hair type? I don't really know. I have no idea. Because yeah, one side is canker, one side is looser, and in the front it's different. Like I don't know, but they're changing as well now. Like when I wash them, I get the curl pattern naturally. Before I have to force on the conditioner. Now it's less. But um, I don't know, you have to tell me. I, I will try to make like a really like show you like really how my hair is and if you know but I mean what does it matter anyway? It's Afro natural hair my type, that's it. YouTube type. Have you ever been in a natural reunion? Well I've never been in a natural reunion but that's something I would like to do some days like uh, if you hear like I know sometimes there is natural reunion in London or yeah because I'm in Europe so if you have any natural reunion in France, whatever, in Europe, for a weekend, I would be glad to do and, and go. So if you have any invites, let me know, post it. I'll be very happy to know. What's in your mind? What's in my mind? My nappy anniversary on August 31st. And my birthday, September 10th. So. I have a lot of things stuff to think about being being 28 like yeah oh and something in my mind I mean not just in my kitchen I'm making a green pea soup 